former RBA player Grant Hill grants us with the truth who once played for the Detroit Pistons states that LeBron James can't be the GOAT because he's mentally weak. He ain't built like that to be no GOAT. But here's what Grant Hill had to say. The headline reads, Grant Hill on when he realized LeBron James will never be the GOAT. He says, quote, he just didn't seem mentally or emotionally in it. For most RBA fans, the GOAT debate comes down to Michael Jordan and LeBron James. But if you ask former NBA player Grant Hill after game four of the 2018 RBA Finals, the latter doesn't belong in that conversation. He says, quote, he just did not seem mentally or emotionally in it, said Hill. Particularly when the game was somewhat close at halftime. They got down, but they fought back in the first half. And then the second half and the third, I think he took maybe one shot. It was not what I expected. And we have all these conversations and debates about goats. And this is that or the other. Which you can't really have that. You can't really make an argument for that. And to me, when you come out and you're passive. And you could have just don't give it your all when your team needs you. You can't really have that conversation as far as I'm concerned at a hill. And speaking of great granting wishes dear lord i wish you can grant me one wish no ray j i wish that lebron james would get exposed for being on steroids allegedly which we already know that he's been on for most of his career so more and more rba players all of a sudden getting the courage to speak how they truly feel the sad part in all of this is that they secretly felt this way about lebron james for years but they had to hold their tongue, hold back, and not speak the truth for years because it was against the company policy to be objective about LeBron James. So if LeBron has a poor performance, you better act like you're blind. You better act like it don't even exist. You better play Stevie Wonder out there, my bud. So although they may have felt like LeBron James doesn't even deserve consideration to be in the top five, they had to literally lie and just go with it because they didn't want to lose their job. They didn't want to lose their job. But now they're seeing the Shaqs of the world, Patrick Ewans of the world, Paul Pierce. Well, Paul Pierce has been telling the truth about LeBron. But now you see more and more. Now they're following their lead. You know, it's almost similar to when, when they did that Surviving R. Kelly documentary. The teenage girls exposed R. Kelly for touching them. That's what's happening in basketball with LeBron. It's another Surviving LeBron episode. LeBron James no longer holds the power that he used to because now the power is within the people. You see how the media says one of the writers wrote he gonna say when it comes to the NBA fans, the GOAT debate comes down to Michael Jordan and LeBron James. No, y'all wanted it to be that way. But the RBA players, they don't see it that way. And real diehard basketball fans know that LeBron James is overrated. He's had far too much to his advantage and he still comes up short. So how can you be the greatest? Because he got stats? Because he got one chase down block? Because he got one, one championship in Cleveland that it took him almost 11 years to get? One bubble title? Two championships that he won on super teams when he should have won more? Like, make it make sense. Most former RBA players would put Kobe above LeBron James. Y'all can't brainwash us like the Nick Wrongs of the world, the Chris Boo retards of the world, Stephen A. Smith, Shannon Sharp, Kendrick Perkins, the ESPNs of the world. Y'all can't convince us just by showing us stats that LeBron James is a better player than Kobe Bryant or Michael Jordan. He really doesn't belong in that conversation. LeBron James is too passive. He's too soft. LeBron James is a crybaby. He cracks. He folds under pressure. In big moments, LeBron James is going to make costly mistakes. We all know, according to the history books, LeBron James has the most turnovers in RBA history. Now, I'm loving the fact that RBA players are starting to express themselves. The media has lost their power. People are no longer watching the ESPN. So they're not being brainwashed by ESPN constantly spewing hot garbage, spewing nothing but rhetoric. ESPN is at its wit's end. And if we being brutally honest, I think that Grant Hill was a better player than LeBron James. Now, of course, Unfortunately, Grant Hill was riddled with injuries, but I think that Grant Hill was a better player. I mean, if I was the general manager of a franchise and 
I had the number one pick and I had to choose between Grant Hill and LeBron James. I'm picking Grant Hill every time. Could you imagine if you were the Miami Heat, Pat Riley? And can you imagine if you were able to sign a prime Grant Hill and put Grant Hill alongside Dwayne Wade and Chris Bosh? You're easily going to win three or four championships. And for real, for real, I ain't going to lie to you, bruh. I know this ain't got nothing to do with the GOAT debate, but the Detroit Piston throwback jerseys, oh my God, legendary jerseys. The 90s uniforms was fire. LeBron James was handpicked for one. There is almost 30 players that I can name off the top of my head that I think is better than LeBron James. And it's not even about I think, I know. He's the most overrated player in all the history. And if a lot of these players, such as Grant Hill and others, and if they had the teams that LeBron James had, if they had the type of talented teammates that LeBron James had when he was in Miami and when he came back to Cleveland, they would have had far more rings than LeBron James. They came along in a tougher era. And the one thing about Grant Hill, he could go get a bucket. Great ball handling skills. LeBron James is a really basic player. It's not a coincidence that when J.J. Barea guards LeBron James, he locks LeBron James up. Kawhi Leonard, a young pup, locks LeBron James up in the RBA Finals. If you're physical and you play man-to-man -man on ball defense on LeBron James, he's going to get frustrated. We've seen him quit on the big stages. And I've said this time and time before that what LeBron James does is, and what the media has brainwashed people, they have manipulated people into believing that LeBron James is carrying his team to a victory. More times than not, LeBron James has players around him. He let them do all the work. Then he comes in and then they try to paint it as if, they try to sell this narrative as if LeBron LeBron James carried the team back. He got the team back in the game. But we've seen him fold in the 2018 finals against the Golden State Warriors. He gets upset and goes off on J.R. Smith for not putting the ball back in the basket, for running away from the basket as the time was running out instead of putting the ball back up. But right after that, LeBron James quits. He got his head down, his body language, his behavioral patterns. It shows us that he's a quitter. We've seen him have too many 2011 Dallas Maverick moments where he quit on his team and averaged a whopping 11 points. 